evening. I'm Hiba Samad with the Glendale Unified School District's Public Information Office. And I'm so excited to be here tonight to host the Glendale Educational Foundation's 14th annual Diamond Event. This evening, we're celebrating from the iconic Alex Theater in the heart of Glendale. We're here to recognize some extraordinary graduates of Glendale Unified Schools and to support GF's efforts to ensure that Glendale students have exceptional learning experiences. This virtual event is special in that it's connecting the GF community at a critical time. GF is grateful to all of its supporters who've made time to participate this evening. Now, let's hear from some GEF community members about why GEF matters. I have been part of Glendale community for the last 16 years. I have started my law firm here 11 years ago, and I think I love to give back to the community that gives to me. I feel that if I'm committing my time, I want to make sure that my time counts. Uh, as a business owner, as a mother, as someone who has a lot going on in her life, I really want to commit to things that matter to me, and they, they speak really um, to my heart and to the things I believe in. Um, GF's mission directly impacts not just my family, but families of my neighbors, my clients, other people around me. And I feel that my contribution, even on a smaller level, I can see the impact of it in my community. So that's why I'm really involved with it. I myself am a product of Glendale Schools. I went to Wilson Junior High, what it was called then, and then Glendale High and later Glendale College. So. It's not just an honor, but it's uh, honestly my obligation to pay back to the education that gave me the foundation to become who I am. My family, my sisters, my brother, were all Glendale students. We all grew up here. My nieces are Glendale kids as well. So it's very important for me to give back and education being, in my opinion, one of the most important foundations in a person's life. So um, I couldn't not do it. When my daughter Emily was in uh, elementary school, she started participating in the robotics program that I know GEF was sponsoring. And that ignited her love for science and uh, STEM activities. And we have chosen for her to go to another STEM middle school in the Glendale district. So I know it directly impacts my children as well. I think it's very important for the entire business community to be involved in the education because this is our future workforce. Uh, not just in our own community, but in a global market. This is where the economy is turning. So as, as a business owner, I want to have the best, you know, the best team. I want to have the best educated, the best training for our students so that when they go out into the world, they are one of the, you know, sought after team members that businesses want to have. And being part of GEF, we get to help build that foundation for our students, get them prepared for the, you know, the adulthood that's gonna come really quickly. As a business owner and a community member, I believe in investing in a community because I know that the funds we help to raise with GEF will be put towards our schools, will um, enrich our students and have them be better human beings, better equipped to get into the workforce and eventually we can hire them as business owners to work for us. I do employ a couple of individuals who went to local schools and I hope to continue to do so more in the future. You, one of the things that they're always taught is if you want to make a big change in the world, start small. And the smallest place you can start is within your community. So if you invest in the education of your own community, you're eventually going to make a big wave of influence throughout the entire global, global world. So, Start small, make big changes. Some sincere testimonies about the impact that GEF makes in our community. I'm inspired by the commitment these community members have made to support GEF's mission. Now please welcome Marvell Ford, president of the Glendale Educational Foundation.
Good evening. I'm Marvell Ford, and I'm honored to serve as the president of GEF. Thank you all for being here tonight in the virtual space to celebrate deserving GUS alumni and to help the students in our public schools. We're thrilled to be here at the Alex Theater and to present the Diamond Awards and to connect with our GEF community. The Glendale Educational Foundation has been awarding this, have done this event for the past 14 years. We've, we're gonna have some fun tonight. We have the opportunity to award some special awards, which we have an opportunity for a raffle drawing and a musical performance that's lined up ahead. This evening is a tremendously grateful for us to get the generous support from all of our event sponsors from across Glendale business community. We are happy to share that Pacific BMW, once again, as a visionary sponsor through their financial support of $50,000. Thank you again for this amazing gift to our students. Our Diamond sponsors continue to ensure that GF can support every school and every student. Thank you to Greg the Bushager Foundation, Memorial Foundation, Star Ford Lincoln Mazda, California Credit Union, the Cameron Fund, and Glendale Arts Alex Theater as their lead, for their leadership. As also, we'd like to appreciate for the strong support we received at our Emerald sponsorship level. We'd like to thank the Athens Services, Atkinson, Edelson, Loya, Rudd, and Romo, Avery Dennison, Belfort Beatty Construction, Glendale Water and Power, Glendale Kiwanis Club, Hutchinson and Bloodgood, Schools First Federal Credit Union, Ross Moying Property Management, Sonia Tanyant, of the Lynx Law and TPP Architect. These contributions can ensure and maintain significant support for the Glendale Unified School District. GF continues to have an impact on the Glendale Public Schools. Since forming, we've raised over $3.5 million in support of the visual and performing arts, science and technology, health and fitness programs. GF support has brought instruments to those who have the love for music and it guarantees a bus ride for the individuals in the middle schools to participate in after school programs and it increased access to the robotics kit and computer technologies across GUFD. We can also help to continue to do this by doing one of two things. For one, attending this event tonight is one of the ways to support us. Also, we have the state of the schools that we do in the fall and also text to give this evening, which you'll hear a little bit more about this throughout the program. Now, it is my honor to introduce who has worked tirelessly last year to ensure that our students, family, teachers have been supported during this unprecedented time. Please welcome from the Glendale Unified School District, Superintendent, Dr. Vivian Etienne. Thank you all for joining us virtually tonight to support our Glendale Educational Foundation, help us and help us improve educational outcomes for every child in our district. Whether you are an alumnus, family member, district employee, or community partner, you play an important role in helping our students grow into their best selves, ready to excel in their professions and provide service to their communities. I want to thank GEF, our amazing supporters, and Glendale Arts for providing this beautiful venue for this evening. And of course, thank you to our outstanding Glendale Unified Board of Education members, President Armina Garpetian, Vice President Sean Sahakian, Clerk Nairina Hapetian, members Greg Krikorian and Jennifer Freedom, Freeman for your steadfast leadership. Glendale Unified is an exceptional school district and together we continue to grow and improve every day. This has been a year filled with new opportunities. I'm incredibly proud of the way our Glendale Unified community has come together to support the needs of our students and families throughout this experience. The pandemic and pivot to distance learning widened existing equity gaps in our communities and our educational system.
Access and understanding of technology has gone from being an educational enhancement to an absolute necessity for every child. As we slowly and deliberately resume in-person learning, it is imperative that we provide children with the academic and social-emotional support they need to navigate this transition and continue on a path to success in college, career, and life. Helping our children succeed is a community effort. We are so incredibly grateful to the Glendale Educational Foundation for your relentless commitment to our students. Your support allows us to enhance our academic program by providing enrichment in arts, music, athletics, technology, and more. These opportunities are needed now more than ever. Thank you to Jennifer Cano, Marvell Ford, and the GEF board, and each and every one of you who dedicate your time, energy, talent, and financial resources to enriching our students' lives. We are excelling together to provide our youth with endless pathways for success. Now it's my privilege to introduce our Glendale Unified Board President, Dr. Armne Karpetian. Dr. Karpetian. Good evening, everyone. It is my honor to welcome all of you to Glendale Educational Foundation's annual gala tonight. On behalf of my fellow Board of Education members, Sean Sahakian, Nairi Nahabedian, Greg Krikorian, and Jennifer Freeman, I want to thank you for joining us tonight to support Glendale Educational Foundation and Glendale Unified Schools. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Glendale Arts for providing this beautiful space at the Alex Theater to hold our virtual event. I certainly wish that you were all here with us in person to celebrate all of the deserving awardees. I hope the next year, that next year we will be able to gather and celebrate in person. As a Board of Education, we set district priorities to maximize student achievement, foster a positive culture of learning, ensure health and safety of, of students and employees, and maintain district financial responsibility. We strive to ensure that every student is engaged in school and has the academic and social emotional supports they need to succeed. We are so grateful to GEF and our supporters for their continued commitment to the students, teachers, staff, and families in our outstanding district. We have joined tonight, tonight because every one of us cares about quality education and because we know the excellent schools benefit our entire community. Now, more than ever, we rely on our community partners to enhance our educational programs and provide our students the opportunity to achieve their aspirational goals. Your generous contributions to GEF will continue to light our students' educational path to the future. Since 2005, GEF has raised $3.5 million to support visual and performing arts, science and technology, and health and fitness programs. Additionally, in the past three years, GEF has awarded 68 Glendale Unified Teachers with, with more than $55,000 in grant funding to support classroom projects that directly impact students. Our district offers world-class educational opportunities, including dual immersion programs, visual and performing arts, technology and career and technical education programs that attract students from all over surrounding areas. The six outstanding Diamond Award recipients we are recognizing tonight highlight the diverse talent that Glendale Unified School District has cultivated. Our alumni continue to make a positive impact on our community and the world long after they graduate. When you support GEF, you are making an investment in our community that will last for generations to come. On behalf of my, myself and my family, my husband and three children, I would like to contribute $500 on behalf of our family to GEF. Thank you and enjoy the program.
Thank you, Dr. Carpetian and Dr. Ekchian. It's so great to hear from the leadership and to know that so many adults are working hard for the future of Glendale's youth. Now let's mix it up and see who's going to be one of the winners of our raffle. This is the first of two Diamond Opportunity raffles this evening. GF would like to thank Odette Kawajian for her continued generosity and support of GF. She donated both sets of diamonds for tonight's event, which you'll see shortly. Jennifer Kano from GF is going to help us draw that winner. We got one. <laughs> we'll find out in just a second who's this lucky winner. And the winner is Cynthia Livingston. Congratulations. And now we're going to have a little close up of this beautiful diamond necklace. Congratulations. Each year, GEF asks the community to submit nominations for its annual Diamond Awards to recognize exceptional Glendale Unified alumni. This year, GEF received a record number of nominations and was excited to select six honorees. This cohort reflects a variety of careers and talents, but all appreciate their Glendale roots. GEF brought the honorees together recently to chat with the GEF board member, Robert Gordon, a Glendale High School alumnus. Please enjoy this snapshot of the honoree chat. Well, welcome everyone to our special honoree chat. My name is Robert Gordon, member of the Glendale Educational Foundation Board of Directors and Glendale High School alum, class of 1974. And I'm thrilled to be with a, a very select group today. This year is Glendale Educational Foundation Diamond Award honorees. And I wanna thank all of you for making time for us with the purpose of getting to know you, uh, to get, with the purpose of getting to know more about you. And so with that, what do you say we, we make some, some introductions? Um, here then are none other than Andrew Hayhurst, Crescenta Valley High School, class of 2007, distinguished achievement in the arts. Maria Shahakian, Hoover High School, class of 1999, distinguished achievement in the arts. Dr. Stephen Gompertz, Glendale High School, 1988, distinguished achievement in science and technology. Mm -hmm. Dr. Frank Raymond Sinatra, Glendale High School, 1963, distinguished achievement in health and fitness. Susanna DeRosa, Glendale High School, class of 2003, Hope Diamond Award, and Elena Bolbolian, Hoover High School, class of 1997, Paragon Diamond Award. On behalf of the board and the Glendale Educational Foundation, I want to extend my sincere congratulations on your selection to, to really what is a very exclusive club. Although you have very diverse careers, you're here because you've had tremendous success across the areas GEF supports, the arts, science and technology, health and fitness or wellness, entrepreneurship, and early career excellence. Something else we noticed about each of you is how you support others in your work. All of you clearly have a strong work ethic and value caring about people which leads me to my, my first question. What role did your education play in shaping those values? Okay. Um, so growing up, I was always very involved in school and extracurricular activities. And in my family, we never just showed up to practice in the games. My parents always got more involved. So whether that was in um, PTA, my mom is now a retired uh, GUSD former teacher. So she was very involved in school activities, um, as well as Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, AYSO, you name it. Um, so throughout my childhood, I was consistently shown the value of getting involved 
and was surrounded by leaders, educators, and other like-minded families. So I feel like I learned early on that I had more fun when I got involved and did more than just going to school. Um, and this showed me the power of building connections and communities, um, even if they're small in the groups that I'm a part of. I went to school and um, I finished high school and went to college because my parents didn't have an opportunity to do that. So from a young age, they instilled in me the value of education and how um, it would benefit me. So as I was going to school, I think I did it to make my parents proud. But now reflecting back upon my education, I know that it set me up for success. You know, having had that high school degree opened up certain doors, getting that college degree opened up even more doors, and then going on to get my graduate degree opened up even more doors and allowed me to uh, promote into higher level positions, which has broadened my skill set and now allows me to contribute and mentor other young students and young leaders in our in my organization. So again, I did it to make my parents proud, but looking back, all of that helped me um, help increase my opportunities for success. Um, when I look back to uh, my time with USD, I just think of all the opportunities I had, um, so much with music, the uh, elementary school, middle school, and high school. Um, also, certain AP classes I was able to take um, because teachers had decided that they were going to learn learn to teach a new subject. Um, but just all, all of these opportunities were so dependent on teachers uh, and, and community members giving their time. And I think just seeing that and um, seeing how much it affected my life uh, ha had a big impact on, on how I felt I, I, I would um, I would become uh, a member of, of my community. Excellent. Let's let's go to the next question. And and I know some of you already kind of touched on it through your answers. Um, is there is there someone who inspired you? Is there someone who comes to mind who inspired you who had an especially strong influence on your career path and choices? And you know, some of you mentioned your parents. Um, is was there anyone else along the way? A teacher or a colleague? Someone who um, was especially significant um, to you? As you think back on your on your whole on your whole uh, journey to get to this point, so I think just in terms of role models, I think I can't mention anyone without mentioning my father, who really was a great role model early and really an important one for me. Uh, we were an immigrant family, and digging into uh, to and uh, habituating to life in Glendale was a was certainly uh, exciting and a, and a process in and of itself, and really um, going in. Uh, you know, head head first is diving in and giving it, giving it our all was was really important. And he he was is a physician, uh, a scientist, um, largely retired now, but very much a role model. Um, I left uh, all of that on purpose when I went to to college at UCLA and decided let's look elsewhere um, outside of medicine. Uh, I studied chemistry and. A, um, a UCLA professor by the name of Dan Kilson just became an incredible uh, mentor and role model for me. He was sort of the consummate um, eccentric sort of uh, uh, professor who would write in chalk on the chalkboard and end up with chalk all over his face uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and back and the like. Um, but he thought from first principles, he asked the most interesting questions and he, he really got me um, interested in going after the most important questions and just prioritizing them and finding a way to uh, to, to dig in and the idea that you know you you've really got a limited time let, let's spend it wisely and go after the things that, that matter to us this next question has to do with you know, giving advice to um, to students um, you know let me let me just, just let me just go through it in this time when we hear students and you know we do hear students um, who feel so much pressure now because of uh, the need to get grades and take special AP classes to boost their grade point averages, to get into um, prestigious schools, to get community service hours, to build the resumes and college applications. Um, what, what, advice, what advice would you have for uh, a high school student now? I think this is an, an incredibly important question because I've become progressively concerned about this exact issue. Uh, I, I hate to see students you know, and students with tremendous potential 
um, feeling that if they don't get into an Ivy League or a uh, similarly highly competitive university, that they have no chance for success. Um, because it's simply not true. Uh, I uh, spent the last 12 years as an assistant dean uh, for faculty development at the medical school. I reviewed dossiers. I was on admissions committees, both at Stanford and, and at USC. And I can tell you that uh, the, the top medical students, top graduate students, and ultimately tenured faculty member come from all kinds of places. I think it's fantastic if you have a student that has the academic abilities and also the emotional and, and social maturity to be able to uh, to jump into a highly competitive um, Ivy League or, or similar type uh, type of school uh, and, and 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 flourish. Certainly, my thoughts are aligned with uh, what everyone else has expressed here. Um, oftentimes, ambitious students are following this prescribed set of steps and classes and activities that they know or believe they should be participating in in order to get into their dream school and then you know um, uh, work towards the career they, they think they want or they know they want perhaps. Um, but along the way, uh, what all of these things they're involved in are doing is they're setting the foundation for who they are, uh, both as individuals when they become adults and also professionally and so if, if they can, I would encourage students to take a beat to learn about themselves and think about what they enjoy, what they are passionate about, uh, what, do, you know, what are some of their inherent strengths, what are things they would want to learn, uh, who do they want to surround themselves with, what type of environment do they want their professional life um, to, um, to be in. And so you know, if, if they're able to also squeeze that into the process, uh, then certainly that can lead to a more fulfilling life, again, both uh, personally and professionally. We really appreciate your, your sharing some time with us this morning. Um, you know, it was great fun getting to, to know you a bit. And uh, you're all certainly very inspiring. And again, from all of us associated with uh, Glendale Educational Foundation, we want to congratulate you on your Diamond Awards. And... Uh, we look forward to seeing you some, some of you at the actual presentation on, on April the 17th. So thank you again, everyone, for, for being with us. That is such an inspiring group of honorees, and they're all supportive and connected with the communities around them. They're an admirable reflection of the Glendale community itself. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce Robert Gordon, GEF board member, who will present this evening's Diamond Awards. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed meeting this year's GEF Diamond Award honorees. Each year since 2012, the Glendale Educational Foundation has renewed the tradition of celebrating outstanding graduates of Glendale Unified School District Area High Schools, and this year is certainly no exception. We were pleased to have received a record number of nominations this year, and although it made the selection process rather challenging, it speaks to the strength and vitality of our school district and community. This year's group of honorees not only embody that strength and vitality, but demonstrate remarkable success across the areas GEF supports, the arts, science and technology, health and fitness or wellness, entrepreneurship and early career excellence. In addition, we were particularly struck by how each of them value caring about people, a value we champion as an organization. We are privileged then to present the Glendale Educational Foundation's 2021 Diamond Award recipients. The first recipient is Dr. Frank R. Sinatra, Glendale High School, class of 1963, Distinguished Achievement in Health and Fitness. Frank Raymond Sinatra, Frank Raymond Sinatra, your dual roles as a practicing physician at Children's Hospital Los Angeles and Professor Emeritus of Pediatrics at the USC Keck School of Medicine 
have been indelibly marked by your exemplary teaching, sharing by example the virtues of compassion and service with a generation of doctors and healthcare professionals. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. I'm honored to be a part of this year's group of recipients, especially since this award comes from an organization whose mission is the enhancement of educational opportunities for children. Dr. C. Everett Koop, a pediatric surgeon at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, who also served as the Surgeon General of the United States, once said that life offers no greater privilege than the raising of the next generation. The Glendale Educational Foundation is making a major impact in this process. So thank you again for this wonderful award, and more importantly, thank you for everything that you do for the children of our community. Thank you, congratulations. The next recipient is Andrew Hayhurst, Crescenta Valley High School, Class of 2007, Distinguished Achievement in the Arts. Unfortunately, Andrew is in San Diego and could not be with us tonight, but we accept his award on his behalf. Andrew Hayhurst is an active member of the San Diego Symphony and Los Angeles Philharmonic, yet somehow finds time to work with refugee families and record cello tracks for aspiring young musicians to practice during distance learning. He continues to use his considerable gifts to give back generously to the community. I am honored to be a recipient of the Glendale Educational Foundation's 2021 Diamond Award. I am grateful for the many opportunities I had going through the Glendale Unified School District, from music performances and outreach to academics. All of that was made possible because of many teachers and mentors who selflessly put so much time and energy into helping their students excel, and who have shown through example just how impactful that kind of generosity can be. Thank you so much for this recognition and for the wonderful support you have provided to GUSD. We are now pleased to present the Paragon Diamond Award to Elena Bolbolian, Hoover High School, class of 1997. Thank you. Elena Bolbolian, you've had a long and prominent career in public service the first director of the City of Glendale's Innovation and Performance and Audit Department, with a reputation for finding creative solutions and better ways of doing things, characterized by uncompromising standards and principles. I am deeply humbled to be receiving the Paragon Diamond Award from the Glendale Educational Foundation and sharing this special moment with my fellow honorees. First, I want to start by thanking my parents for taking such a big risk 30 years ago and moving our entire family to the United States in search of a better life. Of all the cities, I'm so glad that they chose to settle in Glendale, California, because that decision allowed me to attend Glendale Unified School District. And I had the opportunity to get a great education and had some fantastic teachers. Attending Glendale Unified School District is what allowed me to learn about a job opportunity at the city of Glendale through the Glendale Youth Alliance. And for the past 20 years, I've had the honor and privilege to serve the city that I call home. I'm so proud of my city service, and the highlight of my career thus far has been being appointed the Innovation Director four years ago. 
I appreciate the Glendale City Council's forward-thinking decision to form an innovation department in the city of Glendale. The ability to design government services for the community is something that I'm very passionate about, and I feel like we've just scratched the surface of what we can do at City Hall. Next, I'd like to thank my colleagues on the executive team for their ongoing support, and a special thank you to Philip Lanzafame, Director of Community Development, for seeing it fit to nominate me for this award. In addition to my parents, I'd like to acknowledge my siblings, my husband, and my son, who have continued to support me in so many ways. It is due to their backing and support that I'm able to pour so much of my energy into this line of work that I'm so passionate about. Thank you, Glendale Educational Foundation, for this most special award. Our next honoree is Dr. Stephen Gompertz, Glendale High School, class of 1988, Distinguished Achievement in Science and Technology. Regrettably, Stephen is in Boston and was not able to be here in person, but we gladly accept his award and will keep it in good hands. Stephen Gompertz is an attending physician at Massachusetts General Hospital while also doing important clinical research on Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, dementia with Lewy bodies, and Alzheimer's, demonstrating an unwavering commitment to medicine and patient care. Thank you so much to the Glendale Educational Foundation for selecting me the 2021 Diamond Award honoree. I'm extremely excited to accept this award and regret that I'm unable to be with you in person today. Biomedical research focused on understanding and treating brain diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and dementia with Lewy bodies has been my passion and it's a delight to celebrate with you. I have a few important people to thank. First, I'd love to thank my loving family, including my amazing wife, Joan, my child, Maya, uh, my parents, and my siblings, Andrew and Jackie. I'd also like to thank the academic and medical communities that have supported my work and foremost, the patients who have inspired it. Finally, I'm really appreciative of the community of Glendale and the Glendale Educational Foundation. Thank you. We have Maria Shahakian, Hoover High School, class of 1997, Distinguished Achievement in the Arts. Maria Shahakian, your career as, Manning, as Managing Director of the iconic Alex Theater has been admirable for the passion you show in support of performers and nonprofit arts companies and the way you connect our community to the arts and to each other. Thank you, Robert, and thank you, Glendale Educational Foundation, for bestowing me with this honor. It's a dis distinct privilege to be able to accept this award at the very place that has been my professional home for nearly 18 years, the cultural institution at the center of my community, where I had the good fortune of receiving my education and graduating from the excellent Glendale Unified System. Congratulations to my fellow honorees, for being recognized for your hard work and achievements as well. My gratitude to my beloved colleagues at Glendale Arts who work alongside me every day, shoulder to shoulder, to fulfill our mission of enriching our city and our community through the arts and entertainment. And last, but always first, to my family, who are my foundation and my heart. How did I get so lucky? Thank you again. Finally, we are pleased to present Susanna DeRosa, Glendale High School, class of 2003, the Hope Diamond Award. 
Susanna DeRosa, your work as a human resource manager at Avery Dennison has been laudable, helping employees navigate and manage their career potential while maintaining a commitment to volunteerism, working as a member, working as a mentor to under, underserved high school youth. Hi everybody, thank you for having me this evening. It's an honor to be here at the Alex Theater where I grew up going and watching uh, performances. So it's pretty cool to be on the stage here. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my parents, Robert and Betty DeRosa, for always being such an inspiration and amazing example of what it means to be a good person and do the right thing. I'd also like to thank the teachers, coaches, colleagues and managers that have lended an extra hand or some extra time throughout the years when I needed it. And finally, I'd like to thank Alicia Procello and Janet Sandoval for not only nominating me for this award, but creating an environment where it's fun and easy to continue giving back to the community that I work and grew up in. Thank you. Thank you to the Glendale community for the excellent nominations this year. I'm sure you all agree that we have acknowledged some worthy recipients. On behalf of the Glendale Education Lowell Foundation and the Board of Directors, once again, congratulations to all of this year's outstanding honorees. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. Wow, all of those recipients were so inspiring. And I'm so impressed by the talent and dedication of these awardees. They're a real testimony to the impact of high quality public education and a caring community. Now, we're gonna hear a bit more about how GEF supports public education right here in Glendale. Glendale Education Foundation has been a tremendous support for our school. Their three main platforms of physical fitness, uh, science and technology, and arts, especially music education, has been paramount to our school success. Uh, everything that we do here, GEF really makes better and makes it so that our students have a dynamic experience that they can't get anywhere else outside of Glendale. Some of the things that we can provide for our students that we just couldn't do without GEF include our robotics program, the uh, real strong focus on STEAM that we have at our school is really because of the foundation that GEF sent us when it was just uh, an idea. And from that we've grown year after year after year to add new and exciting programs, pieces of the puzzle that have made our school really stand out in the community all because of GEF support. And it's not just our STEAM program, um, our music program is incredible because of the work that GEF has done providing us new instruments, new ideas, a brand new piano lab. Our middle school sports thrive all because of GEF. GEF secures the funding for our transportation which allows our middle school age students to be able to compete against each other in football, volleyball, soccer, basketball, track and field, and lacrosse. Instead of reading about these opportunities like robotics or coding or whatever it may be. It's GEF's funding that allows the hands-on experience that students just can't get in typical middle schools. Also, GEF allows teachers to apply for a teacher grant, which gives them some creative freedom to have a project of their own uh, volition being funded. So for example, at our school, one of our teachers applied for a grant to be able to buy new drums in her modern band class, and students are able to learn African drumming in her class as part of her curriculum. Only possible here in Glendale with GEF support. So that brings it home, doesn't it? 
GEF helps schools to try new approaches and become better, and the community drives that investment. What a remarkable model of collective action we have here in Glendale. Now, it's my honor to welcome Jennifer Cano, Executive Director of the Glendale Educational Foundation. Good evening. I'm honored to be here to connect with GEF supporters and to recognize our remarkable Diamond Award honorees. I would like to thank the entire GEF community for joining in the celebration. As I learned more about each honoree this year, I was struck by the activities they were involved with during their school careers. Music, choir, sports, theater arts, journalism, and leadership programs. And it was clear that the skills, relationships, and the fun these opportunities provided them enriched their school experience. This is exactly what GEF strives to do for GUSD students. We support visual and performing arts, science and technology, and health and wellness programs to expand young people's horizons and to inspire lifelong learning. And we are fortunate to partner with such dedicated administrators and teachers to ensure that our investment is impactful. Our current campaign is focused on raising funds to support science, technology, engineering, and mathematics and the arts, STEAM. GEF believes that investment in STEAM engagement will provide critical access points for guiding student inquiry, dialogue, and critical thinking and support for STEAM activities will also allow schools to be innovative at a crucial time. We need your support, however, to ensure that our efforts can reach every child and every school. So please, join the sponsors and individuals who have already shown support by making a donation right now. Simply text GEF to 56651 and follow the prompts to make your donation of any amount. Your gift will mean excitement and engagement in the 21st century classroom. Again, text GEF to 56651 and follow the prompts to make your donation. Thank you. Now it's time for another diamond raffle opportunity. And Jennifer, are you ready? Okay, let's select the next winner. Let's spin that drum. And I believe this is gonna be another beautiful necklace. Right, Jennifer? Yes. <laughs> And the winner is Robin Goldsworthy. Congratulations. Beautiful. Thank you, Jennifer. And now let's please welcome back Marvell Ford to the podium. Hello, I hope everyone is enjoying this evening's event. It has been a privilege to ensure that we stay connected to the Glendale community during these unusual times. I'd like to thank all of you for giving your time and resources to support GEF's mission. There's a few special acknowledgements I'd like to make and share with you. Thank you to the Glendale Arts and the staff of Alex Theater for their tremendous support. We were very much wanting to hold this event in a special place and you made that possible for us. Thank you. Thank you to our host, Habad Samad. We appreciate your energy and enthusiasm for the GF's mission. Thank you to the city of Glendale's GTV6 for the support with their video production. Thank you to the entire GF board of directors, Robert Gordon for chairing the Scala event and committee, and for our executive director, Jennifer Cano. I now would like to share with you this exciting digital video program book. Please take a chance 
and lift, glance, glance at it and make that made this possible for the Diamond Award of honor, honorees with the wonderful sponsors. You can find it through the GEF website at www.glened.org. And also you can link through Facebook and live chat right now. Thank you again. I hope everyone at home is enjoying the program so far, and I think this might be my favorite part coming up. It's only fitting that we should be able to enjoy a performance this evening by the young people of Glendale themselves. The students have shown remarkable flexibility and persistence this past year, and we should commend them for their determination. So let's hear how the music has played on at Crescenta Valley High School by enjoying a medley by the CV High School Concert Band, Symphony Orchestra, Jazz Band, and Marching Band.
wow, how amazing were those performances. That was so wonderful. And a special thank you to our students who took part in that and Matthew Schick, the instrumental music director from Christina Valley High School for putting that performance together for us. Well, it's sad, but this brings us to the end of our virtual gala. It's been a pleasure to be here and see the impact of the Glendale community on building bright futures for its youth. Thank you for your support to the Glendale Educational Foundation and for joining us tonight. Congratulations again to the 2021 Diamond Award honorees. We'll see you next time. Have a great night.